Hello everybody, my name is Kiribro, and welcome back to Pokemon Moon Super Blind Nuzlocke. Where, uh, I figured today, let's go ahead and knock out another one of these little, uh, post-game challenges. I have heard... ...that if you come up and, uh... ...you face the Elite Four in this game, it's a little bit different. Because it does actually treat you like you're still the champion. You don't go and, like, have to go and fight the champion that existed before you and just basically, like, keep grinding through it again. You are the champ. So it turns into a title defense bout. And I've seen a couple of you guys in the comments saying that you wanted me to go do this. I was gonna try to leave this for... Like, one of the later on things. Okay, but, uh, a friend offline uh, went ahead and told me that their levels only go up by a little bit after you beat them the first time. Like, they don't get bumped up to 70. So if I leave it off, like, too long, I'm basically gonna trivialize it. I don't wanna do that. Okay, so the team that I'm gonna bring in here, uh, for my title defense round, is Yak at 64, Emdurg at 65, Candyman at 67, because I've kinda kept Candyman on me while I was doing some other guys off screen. Technicality 64, I caught her, didn't use her in the first time through, now, whatever, man, all bets is off, I don't have my main defense team anymore, I got not worth here, and I got Mayfly. This is about as good a type coverage as I think I can create with the teams that I've got now. I don't really have any answer for ghosts. I don't really even have much of an answer for fighting, I think. Like, Mayfly's the best that I got, and Mayfly could very easily die to any num any of the other things that those fighting types might have. She's very resistant to fighting moves, and only fighting moves. Dedicated Hall of Famer fan. I remember the team of every trainer who tries to enter the Hall of Fame, including you. I can remind you of who you had here on your team when you won if you like. Oh, let's check this. Mudsdale, Mandibuzz, Vigal, Marowak, Sylveon, Primarina. That's it. I don't get any pomp and circumstance. I was hoping to get to see him again, like in all their 3D glory. That sucks. All right, guys, clear the way. Won't be able to leave until you beat them or are defeated in the process. Let's give it a go. I think that I've got all of the items that I need. I want to hear of your victory. Have I got plenty of healers? This is the only thing I gotta check before I head in there. I have... It won't be here, it'll be over here. I have 21 energy powders, 30 energy roots, and a handful of potions. Pretty happy with that. Let's give it a whirl! And, uh, let's say we do things in the opposite order this time around. Last time we fought, uh, Ace Rolla. Last, let's take her on first. Also, I didn't know that I would have to fight them all again. I thought that it might just go straight to, uh... Straight to title defense. Oh well. Bring in a royal touch. She's gonna do her little ghosty hands things, but it's- wait, it's not ghosty hands. It's just Ghosty Flame. What's up, Ace? Alright, who do I want to go up first to face the ghost type? Ah, <sighs> the team that isn't really set for ghost types in any way. Obviously, Not Worth is not getting anywhere near this. Everything has Not Worth ha- Everything Not Worth has is Not Worth it. Because it's all normal in fighting. You're useless to me. Candyman has a few steel moves. I don't know how steel works with ghost. Uh, it looks like it's straight-up normal effective. Ghost doesn't have many weaknesses. It's weak to Ghost and it's weak to Dark. And the only Mon that I have left that has any Dark moves... I don't... Uh, well, I had Predator, but he's the only Dark Mon that I have. She, sorry. Aside from that, it was only, uh... Enderman. And I've already got Technicality, so I didn't want to bring two Water types in. Although, I guess I did bring two Fighting types in. But that's because Fighting's where I got a lot of focus right now. As for Ghosts... I think Yak might still be a pretty safe bet, because Yak can just withstand a whole lot of punishment. Then again, so can Emdurg. Emdurg has a pretty good defensive stats as well. And if I can get that sunny day out, I can just start blasting solar beams. 
I know you've got something that actually turned out to be a grass type, and I think it was that anchor somebody told me. Can't go into the champion's chamber without proving you can still get past the Elite Four. Yeah, all right, so this is the um, justification. Even though it's bullshit, I am the champ. I should be able to go rest on my throne whenever I want. <laughs> Let me into my throne room, Acerola. It's time for round two. Let's see what kind of training you have been doing. Did you have a Sableye last time? I think you may have. Because I had the realization that it doesn't have the same go second limitation that mine did. You have done some leveling up. Last time I came in here, I think 50. Five was the average level of Mons. And now, now the first one is a 63. Okay, so we're gonna start off with a sunny day. I don't think Sableye is really gonna have anything that'll be too good against me. You do have a fake out though, because you're an asshole. All right, Shadow Claw is just gonna do a standard amount of damage. That sucks, that actually kind of hurt. But I can take one more. All right, let's use it the solar beam. I think Shadow Claw is a crit move, not a flinch move. Yes, it is, good. Blast it to Kingdom Kung, M. Derg. Kingdom Kung. <laughs> oh, and with the critical. Way to be. Way to be, M. Derg. That's a one down. Oh, 1938. Pretty good XP, too. Yay! Off to a great start. Frostlass. Right, you have this ice one. You're gonna remove my sunny day bonus right off the bat. All right, so Ghost Ice. The only answers I have to ice are fighting, and the ghost makes it invalidated. What else is good against ice? What do I have on here? A uh, rock is good against ice. Here we go. Yak. You're up, bud. Is Yak also female? I think she is. She is! Okay, so you are indeed ice and ghost. All of those are super effective. Do I have steel marked off? I do. They're both super fit, so I could have used Candyman as well. Oh well. Don't matter now. Go ahead and Stone Edge. You know, I might be able to have Yak take this whole thing too if I put out the Sandstorm. I gave Yak uh, a smooth rock. So the Sandstorm will last longer. And Yak has also got Pretty respectable special defense. This is the one that was the extra grass, though. So leaving Yak in will hurt me, and also switching back in Emder won't really help because the Solar Beam is still gonna be against a, another grass type. So what do I have for Ghost and Grass? Grass is weak to flying. I don't have any flying moves on me. It's weak to fire, I don't have any fire moves. It's also weak to poison. Here we go. Technicality, your turn, girl. I know you can outlast anybody. So just toss out a toxic and then one of them Venom shocks, and we'll have this done with in two turns. Yep, ghost and grass. And yeah, what they told me is that the Pokemon itself is not the anchor. It's the wheel, like, no, wait. It's not the, I think the Pokemon itself was the seaweed? But the eye is on the wheel, it's it's weird. I, I don't fully understand. Oh, how did I forget this? Technicality also has payback. I forgot she had a dark move. And Venoshock, is poison not very effective against ghost? It is not, damn it. All right, well I can still do the toxic and then payback and still get the guaranteed crits. Oh, fuck. Fuck me. Okay, so I can't actually leave technicality out there to deal with this. The poison will do the damage. If I can survive and last through it. But that means the yak is out. You're gonna use another earthquake. Not worth would be able to take the hit. 
I think Nawarth can survive an awful lot while I let Toxic do its thing? Because Candyman would also die to Earthquake. Mayfly probably wouldn't because Bug, I think, has some kind of a resistance to it. But I'm gonna go ahead and take the gamble on this. I might actually get some use out of Not Worth here. Plus, I can spend turns not attacking and healing up my other mons. And I think Earthquake's a physical, which means this should do, like, minimal damage. That's what I like to see. This is also assuming that Acerola doesn't just toss out a full restore, as these end trainers are likely to do from time to time because they're all assholes. So we'll root on Emderg. You're gonna keep up with the earthquakes, really. You got nothing better for this, all right. I guess any ghost moves you had would also be invalidated by me because I'm a normal. Okay, and one more energy root for technicality. You only have 90 in hurt, but you're better to me if you're at full health. And then next turn I can energy root on Nawarth to bring her back up to speed. Maybe Toxic will kill it in the next turn. I don't know, that doesn't look, it, it looks a little bit too high. And if it only knocks it down to critical in the red, then Acerola is definitely gonna heal it back up again. So I hope that's not what happens. Take it down, take it down. Nope, nope, here comes the full restore. And that's gonna get rid of the poison, so I need to have a backup plan now. Well, this ought to work. Actually, no, here we go. I'll toss out Mayfly instead, because grass moves shouldn't be very good on a bug either, I think, if I'm doing this right. Yes, it's not. Your ghost moves will be just fine on me, unfortunately, but both Earthquake, which I think does not very good. Gotta, gotta, gotta triple check my numbers here. Ground. Ground is not very good on bug. And whatever grass type move you have won't be good on bug. So even if you Earthquake and then you die, cool, you're dead. And if you don't Earthquake, that gives me a free turn to switch. Yep, there's the full restore. Cured of its poisoning and the full heal. Son of a... Dash Natcher. And I've only got a bunch of regularly effective moves here, so... I'm almost assuredly gonna go faster than it. So if I gotta go for something, I wanna go for one that might lower its special defense. And Bug Buzz will get a power boost. Please don't knock out Mayfly. I need her to take care of Hala. She's the only thing I've got. Heavy- oh, fuck. Oh, it's a steel move. Oh, thank Christ, with the, oh, with the refresh, another save. I know two of your moves now. You've got a steel move. Get on out of there. That steel also means yak and technicality are both out. If you use another heavy slam, Candyman could take it. But a heavy slam, I don't think, will shouldn't do much to technicality. And I need to get off another toxic on you. I think Earthquake might only have 5 PP too, so maybe you're out of it now. Poison's steel steel's not super effective against poison, and it's ineffective against water. Okay. Toxic it again. Yeah, you've, you're still throwing earthquakes. Don't you crit. Don't you dare crit. Technicality, I need you to su Oh, thank God. I saw the shaking and I thought that was a critical. Okay, so we're working on the poison again here. This team is not as well set to handle these guys as I was last time. Energy root time on technicality.
Whew. Great, Earthquake has 10 PP. That's not what I wanted to see. Because now I'm just, now I'm running a risk. I'm waiting for the crit. I could swap back again. What am I doing? Emdurg is fully healed now. Emdurg can, can hurt you. Not with a lot, but you also won't, hopefully won't have super effective moves on me. Because I, I think ground is at best neutral against grass. And actually ineffective, that's what I want. Okay, this poison, it's not in the full restored territory yet, so as long as I can hit it with something, something that will hurt. And the only thing I have that might hurt it is Psy Shock, and it's made of metal, so it's probably gonna have a high physical defense. <sighs> All right, it's... Ah! I think the other Z move that I have is Z Toxic. Which I might want to use on technicality next time, because you've still got two Pokemons left. Yeah, I think I'm I think I'm just gonna go with the Psy Shock. Hope it hurts, and then the toxic damage at the end of this turn will knock it out. Excellent, excellent, that's perfect. What? Oh no. Thank you! Thank you. I don't know what Phantom Force is. I was I was not ready for whatever whatever crazy death swirl you were gonna throw at me with that. Everybody gets some experience out of that fight. Okay, Palosan. The ghost and ground type. Emdurg is still probably best suited for this. You had a reason for sending out Palosan, but I'm still gonna just go ahead and solar beam and hope that this kills you. It's gonna take me two turns, but you shouldn't have something to... Oh, shit. Oh, okay. Now, Emdurg, don't you dare miss. Don't you miss on me, boy. You gotta land this, you gotta make it hurt. Thank God. Ooh, okay. Yeah, this is, um... This is still pretty powerful and painful. Okay, Drift Bloom is the ghost flying. I know that one. Yak, get back in there. I need you to throw rocks at it. Uh, yeah, no, I don't want to smack down Stone Edge. Just, just hit it hard. Damn it! Stone Edge has a low hit percentage. You're gonna burn me, right? That's what Will O Wisp does. Yes, it's a burn move. That lowers my physical attack. No! Oh, that sucks. Okay, well, if you want to play it that way... I know how to draw things out. I'm not gonna let you lower my special defense. I'm gonna keep whittling at you. Uh, a couple smackdowns ought to do it, and hopefully keep it outside of the range of the full restore. But I still gotta spend a turn on healing here. It, it attacks before I do, and another one of those hits will kill me. We're in root time on Yak. Damn you. I'm not using full restores, all I'm using is energy roots. Well, maybe I should use a full restore at this rate. Um... So you're using Shadow Ball. Technic- I could probably switch to Candyman, you also have Stone Edge. 
and really high attack. Whatever flying moves you have will not be super effective against me because I've got a steel backing me up. I'll still not be hurt by the sandstorm because I'm steel. How does Ghost do on fighting? It's just normal. Same against Steel, so I'm still gonna have to deal with this giant shadow ball beating me in the face. All right, I just healed up Yak, so I'm gonna I'm gonna stick with this for a moment. I'm gonna try to Stone Edge again. It sucks that my damage is reduced. That's not what I needed. But maybe, maybe if I can land one more of these, because I think I can take one more of those Shadow Balls, and if I land one more Stone Edge, plus the Sandstorm damage, don't crit, don't crit, don't crit, don't crit, don't crit, thank you. Crunch? Oh, thank God, I didn't even have to take the burn damage. Yes, yes, Yak. Woo! One down. Rest of the team got some experience, and Acerol is down again. How did you do it again? Because I went out and trained too, girl. I don't even have the same team this time, and I took you down again. And Yak is gonna see a whole lot more use in the next fight because I'm going up against that flying trainer who did, his name doesn't even matter. Being in the Elite Four is fun, but so is being a captain. Hmm, I'm not sure which to do. <laughs> Well, you just keep on living life however you want to live. Thanks to picking me to battle first while you were still fresh and full of energy. Oh yeah, they have different quotes depending on when you fight them. Because I did Howl first last time. Yeah, so we'll get some different text this time. Okay, and time for some massive amounts of heals, because wowzers, my team took a real bad beating out of that ghost trainer. But you know what, I gotta say that I'm pretty happy with the results. Considering ghost was the one trainer that I was like, the least equipped to take on. I had no direct counters to it. And I still managed to come out without losing anybody, so that's a good sign for the rest of these. Now where's the, actually I'll, f I'll finish healing up first and then I'll find the berry for burns. Okay, excellent. Now, you, flying golf trainer. I got a bone to pick with you. Your Amanda Buzz's bone specifically. Cereza lost her, she needs a replacement. Why don't we see who wins favor today, you or me? It'll be me, it's gonna be me. Sorry to say, it's gonna be me. Your Amanda Buzz. Might have a ground move, which will suck. That'll hurt Yak. Oh, wait, shoot, I have to do a PP pass, too. Cuz... Yak also ran out of stone edges in that fight. That's not cool. So what else am I low on? You're good, Emderg is good. Yak is good, not worth, didn't use any moves. Candyman, didn't fight. Mayfly, you're good. What about TMs? Do I have anything for rock? Uh, yep, by number. Any other rock moves in here? It's just Smackdown. Uh, Sandstorm. Rock Tomb is a little bit more powerful than Smackdown. Rock Polish raises the speed stat, ooh. Stone Edge, I already have that. Well, since I'm not reliant on ground moves at all in here, I think I'm gonna trade out Smackdown on Yak for the Rock Tomb instead. Just because it's gonna get a little bit more damage. Give him excellent. And maybe I should also give it to... Not Worth, because Not Worth only has fighting and normal moves here. Superpower is a giant hit that lowers attack and defense stats. I like Hammer Arm because you're already pretty slow. I like Thrash. That's a, such a powerful move. 
But I think I'm actually gonna go ahead and drop superpower, because I don't like something that reduces my stats after I use it. Thrash I'm okay with because confusion can be cured or just uh, fixed by swapping out. And Thrash is likely to kill anybody I use it against anyways. Anyhow, let's get Yak up in the front slot here. Start the fight! You came to battle me again! If I beat you, the number one ranked trainer in Alola, then I'll be ready to take on the world. I'm coming for you, Koo Beans. Sure. You're welcome to think that. You still crouch down before you fight, though, which is... There's a lot about you that's weird, golf lady. Although I just noticed that your hair looks like wings. That's a plus. <laughs> that's one plus out of many negatives. Oh, and you have the Skarmory, so the rock moves aren't even going to be very effective. It'll still balance out, but it won't be, like, super effective. And I could Sandstorm. You're not going to get hurt by it, by it, but at least I'll be boosting my own special defense. I think that's worth it. Right, you do this too, don't you? No way, you don't do this. Kakui did that thing where he dropped the spikes and then he just like forced me to change again and again. Then again, 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 you're a flying trainer so you probably have the same move. We'll just start rock tombing it. I don't know why you're using spikes multiple times? Does the damage stack? Please don't tell me the damage stacks. Oh, and I can lower your speed with Rock Tomb. Excellent. You're Steel, I'm Rock. Steel super effective against Rock. That could be bad. Yeah, that could be bad. Could be very, very bad. But I'm gonna hope that I can take one more hit and Stone Edge. You're gonna waste your turn on Spikes. Excellent. I'm okay with that. Damn you! Not okay with this. I need a stone edge to land. Come on! Spike it, Yak! That's my big rocky girl. That's my rocky girl. Not worth with another level? About to send in two cannon. I know you. You're probably gonna have that seed bullet, so you are gonna be super effective. However, I can't afford to switch because of all of these spikes. And even Emderg would be punished by your flying side because you'd use the beak blast on me. I still think two cannons probably my best bet. I'm just gonna have to spend uh, a full restore or something to get all this HP back. Or a max potion, here we go, because there's nothing wrong with Yak. It's just HP. Oh, you have a fighting move too. You kept that brick break, you son of a bitch. Okay. You're one of the ones I'm most worried about. I kind of want to keep using Stone Edge. But I know that that Mandibuzz is going to come out too and probably have a ground move that's going to screw with me. A rock tomb once. See what this does. I'm okay with spending another turn healing. Oh, excellent. Oh, that's fantastic damage. Less good. Less good about the Sandstorm. I kind of needed that to keep going. Another max potion! But that's good. That means that I don't have to waste a Stone Edge on the two cannon. You! God, I hate you guys sometimes. But you just keep lowering, no wait. Mm, maybe, does full restore count for stats? It does not, you're super slow now. Maybe I can go first. Nope, not that lucky. Don't crit, don't crit, don't crit. Excellent. All right, that's two birds down. Just keep it up, Yak, keep it up. 
Ender gets his level. About to send in Crobat. Flying in Poison. How's Poison do against a Rock type? It is not very effective. This is going to be a turn that I can use to set up my Sandstorm and such again. But still need one of these potions. Actually, maybe not a max. Maybe I'll just use a energy root instead. Because I don't have many max potions, and I think they're pretty expensive. Dark pulse. Oh, but you've got dark moves. And those are neutral damage. Still not really anything to write home about. I'll be all right. Especially if I can get this Sandstorm up to boost my special defense again from these special moves. Start you taking damage from the Sandstorm. One more energy root, because now I can put it to full use. Get me back up to 193. It's not going to do half damage, but it will do significantly less. And now, if I'm remembering it right, Crobat has less defenses typically than a two cannon does, so this rock tomb ought to just kill. Come on, Yak, crush it. That's my Yak, that's my Yak right there. That should have killed, really should have, but I got the Sandstorm up. That's my Yak, that's my Yak right there. <laughs> and here's the Manda Buzz that I was worrying about. So I'm gonna keep Yak out. Because if I remember right, Mandibuzz, high defenses, a surprisingly high speed stat, but very bad offensively. So even if you have this ground move, oh, you have a toxic, are you for serious with me right now? No, that's my move, that's my move. You're not allowed to pull that. I'm gonna have to get rid of that poison like ASAP. Actually, me, no, 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 not running the risk, not running the risk. That gets gone immediately. How many of these do I have? Only a handful, I wanna save those. But I do have antidote. I know that I could have used this turn to just kill it, but I was Worried that it would use its ground move and then that on top of the toxic would really really hurt me, but it didn't So that means even if you want a toxic this turn One more stone edge will knock you out of the sky And now it's reset the damage So you'll do just a pitiful amount again And now I crush you Good Good. I was worried about Mandibuzz. It was nothing, nothing really that scary. I just have to unpoison Yak again. <laughs> I can't remember which Oricorio you had. I think it was the last one, the blue one, which was Ghost? Maybe it switches, because you're fire now. Which means, oh my god, what are you even thinking? You're gonna die. Come on, Yak, don't fall victim to confusion. Don't fall victim to confusion. Get it through. That's my Yak. I love Yak. You gotta love Yak. Yak is a giant, spiky, lovable, huggable stone of death. <laughs> Between Yak and Not Worth, I could just tape free hug signs on my team and just walk around the countryside and leave a s trail of bodies. <laughs> this feeling of frustration that is swelling within me, I'll use it to propel my growth. I sure. It's not all that inspiring, sorry to say. Because I still don't even know your name. Just, just, just put a thumb over that name right there. I'm gonna, I'm, I'm gonna go to, go to my grave not learning your name. Blue bird lady, that battle was worthy of being number one in Alola. Maybe even number one in the world, but next time I'll win, you'll see. Really? Because I already beat you and then beat somebody stronger than you last time, so I don't think it's worth being number one in the world. Not even gonna talk to you. Bye. <laughs>
Oh, wait, shit. I did want to talk to her because she, she would have had something to say about being the number two trainer. Go back in. Damn it. <laughs> All right. Well, that's two battles down. Those are the two that weren't kahunas, which means next time on show, we're going to go in and face off against Olivia and Hala and see what things they have changed on my way back to the top again. Thank you. Much better clap. Thank you everybody so much for watching. Remember to hit that like button down below. Please do consider subscribing if you haven't already. Share it around with anybody else you know who likes Pokemon or who likes Nuzlocke. And we'll catch you all in the next episode for more of Elite Four Round 2.